right is the coffee plantation. The coffee that you have been testing, drinking and buying yesterday comes from this nice green plantation. Ara Arabica coffee. These trees are small. A small? Small tree coffee. No, the, the, no, no. There's two types, there's two types of coffee. Robusta, Robusta coffee has got big trees that doesn't grow here. This is Arabica. And they what they do is pruning. They cut on top the top. They, they maintain the height. So because picking is by hands. So if you let the tree grow taller, you're losing value of that. Since more branches is more harvest. So you cut the top, you get more branches. And it's ongoing process throughout the year. From start from June, July until next year, they will be harvested. Since you only pick the red ones, which are ready to be processed. And here we do water washed coffee. That's why our coffee is not that strong as coffee that you can get in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, they do sun dried coffee. They pick coffee with its sugar and everything, dry it, and then peel it. But we wash off the sugar that is layer of above the seeds or the, the beans and then dry it. Yeah. But now we have a machine that electrical machine or you can do by hands. Peeling. It depends on how if it's the whole farm like that you cannot do by hand so you need a machine. So that's type of coffee is Arabica, you can get it here, you can get it in Ethiopia. And uh, now what, what, Kenya also? Kenya, part of Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, they grow coffee. All the areas, tropical areas, they, they do grow coffee. So East Africa is the, 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 the coffee heaven? With East Ethiopia. Africa is, is growing lots of coffee uh, and we export also a lot of coffee. Because I don't see the and same thing in, uh, I don't see the same thing in West Africa. Depends on the temperature. But it's not but it's not like a popular energy that you hear. As a matter of fact, family, are you talking so about turning left toward the airport? Coffee and things, here we are. So Ghana and Cold Yeah, Cocoa. Ghana is the king of Cocoa. So is that the airport or is my We're heading to the airport? This big field, I, I, I this big field right here. That's big field belongs to the uh, to the uh, I like this compound right here. Yeah. Driving through the countryside of Arusha. Arusha Airport. Right, here you go family. I love the I love the solar light systems. I love it. Yeah, and that's why it helps a lot. And that's uh. <laughs> but now we have a little of maintenance because you don't need to fix it frequently unless otherwise something goes wrong. Maybe maybe that's really the future right there. Yes, solar is a future. Investment for our country because hydroelectric power is a little bit of a problem as you have seen. We have, especially lack of water. Yeah, so they are now switching off to natural gas and uh, solar. Natural gas, all right. Somebody's rushing to the airport. <laughs> One thing uh, you can always see in Arusha is, the, I, I guess uh, Kilimanjaro Mountain is in a different direction, right? So this is all us. Mount Maru, or is it something else? Is clear today. Oh, sure. So that's actually on this other side, family. There we go. And I, I believe as you be fly to, to Zanzibar, you can may see Kilimanjaro. That's Mount Meru. And okay, 
Kilimanjaro. You see that mountain coming out behind the Mount Meru? Yeah. yeah. That's the Kilimanjaro. Hey, there you go. You can see both of the peaks. So as you be flying to Zanzibar, on your left hand side will be Kilimanjaro. So if you can get the room, I don't know what's the seat and location. If you're sitting on the left hand side of the aircraft, you'll be in a good chance to see the Kilimanjaro. So family, it's almost the minute, the time to say goodbye. Unfortunately, I'm not coming with you to Zanzibar. Yeah, with a. But I'm hoping that you. This is just the first time to see Tanzania, and you're coming again. The first time you come as a guest. The second time you already know your way. <laughs> So we'll be happy to save you, we'll be happy to show you more of Tanzania. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you uh, so much. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. And if people decide to come back on personal journeys and everything, you know, we definitely want them to you know stay connected with you, you and your brother. You guys are you know one of my favorite dynamic duos. Thank you. you know? Thank you. And, uh, and we're gonna keep building. And, and we believe that as a nation, as Tanzania, we now have ambassadors in America that will talk positive of Tanzania. Absolutely. No more good things about it. Yeah, and don't forget that we are all humans. If there's anywhere we have gone not to the right, right way, take it as human errors and then take the positive part. Um, and we hope as the technology is growing very fast, we'll get better and better. Today you're flying to our island Zanzibar, our part of the other part of Tanzania, and uh, I hope you will see you. You plan you visiting the where it used to be the slave slave market center. Today is a uh, is, is, is a church there. That means there is no more slave business, and uh, you will also see. The narrow street of Zanzibar, the, the house of Wanda, and maybe you'll end up in the uh, Forodani food market. Yeah, we'll be right there. The only thing is um, the house of Wanda is still being worked on, right? Yeah, as you have seen, as you have seen here in Arusha, all the museums are under renovation. So do not be surprised when you get there and they say, we don't open this for you, but you'll always see it from outside. And the guide, Wilfred, is very good. He's got a lot of knowledge and information and will give you good information that you can uh, learn more about Zanzibar. The only thing is you need to be close to the guide if there's any movement, close to the guide so that you get the information. If you stay away or you have discussion in between, then you miss some information. It's like in a classroom, you have to be quiet to get a good uh, lesson. Eh? So, So this is the this is the terminal. Yeah, that's the terminal. It's that small because of the airport. You see that, that we were supposed to come in from that side, and it's fenced. That means they are doing development. Oh, well, perfect. For you to come and see the Africa Tanzania airports are like somehow. Nice small airport modern. family. It takes time. That's what we do. <laughs> So family, we're gonna be bored, get the bags down, get everybody set and ready for check-in. So the journey continues, family.